YouTube Shuki here with a review of the Power Rangers Ninja Steel Megamorph DX Battle Station. So this is a huge cannon weapon uh, that I have no idea if it's going to make its way into the show or not. I kind of hope it does because it's pretty neat, but I'm not expecting it to because they haven't really been up and up on the original Zords or vehicles or weapons or anything like that in the recent of our Ranger series other than the cockpit mode so Bandai can sell more action figures but uh, at the very least this is kind of neat it does have its flaws but uh, it is at the core pretty cool just like the Megamorph vehicles it goes from a ninja star or shuriken to an actual big cannon thing and if we flip it over on the back said cannon can plug into the chest of the ninja steel megazord a la Gokaio from Gokaiger's cannon thing uh, so yeah, it's uh, pretty interesting uh, to say the least. Now this was $24.99 at my local Toys R Us. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this open and take a look. Alright, and here it is. Well, I really like the Megamorph vehicles. This one I'm still kind of on the fence about. Included is a crappy bike figure of the Red Ranger, this time translucent because you got a solid one for buying the motorcycle. So this one's got to be translucent. But really the only functionality with the figure in this toy is like reaching up to grab the little, whatchamacallit, the handlebar thingies, the handles, the triggers. And then he can swing from them like a trapeze or monkey bars or something like that. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. that. This is it. Like, this is the functionality with figures. Like, it's really dumb and really pointless. He did not need to be included by any stretch of the imagination. But he is, and he's there, and possibly taking budget from this thing. I don't know. But at the end of the day, it's a fun toy-ish? Fun-ish? Like, quasi-fun? It's like diet fun, so to speak. Uh-huh. Fun light? I don't know. Uh, but my biggest problem with the cannon battle station, whatever it's called itself, is just kind of how floppy it is. Uh, as you see, as I'm turning it, this part is wiggling around. It's held into that front place by just a Zord Builder port. And we all know that those can be definitely floppy. Uh, and these parts are just kind of loose there, uh, which is really weird because looking at this... I don't know why this is designed like this. It's got a peg in there, and it's like octagonal as if it was supposed to connect into something. But then the cannon here is just these two clips so that it can clip into the Megazord's chest. And so I feel like it was meant to connect together in this mode because if you look, like, it, it fits. Like, if these connectors were gone and replaced with, like, a peg for that octagonal thing and stay together cannon it, it would clip together and it would be great it would be fine but alas it's whatever this is i don't even know exactly uh so it's very floppy it looks kind of cool it admittedly looks cool if they had this in the show it would be neat i mean i'm imagining like a big power cannon-esque thing where like, they take the big star and they throw it and it unfolds and grows in the sky and it, like, lands in front of them and they're like, ah, oh, ninja power star thing and it's, and things die. Uh, it'd be kind of cool. <laughs> I would dig it a lot. And you can kind of pretend it has wheels and can roll or something like that. So it's neat. It's a neat looking toy, I think. It's just, it's a shame that whatever made them change this, I guess, to have Megazord functionality... Uh, is causing this to be a thing, and that is very unfortunate. But just like the Megamorph vehicles, this can also change into a Ninja Star. So fold that up, make sure that is out of the way, and slide these pops around. Connect. Oh, it's all spring-loaded, so it's a little touchy. Come down here and connect that, and that will lock in place. And then you bring everything up here and then fold that down fold that down and there you go here is the ninja star mode and it's huge it's a really big ninja star and it's actually kind of cool kind of looks like a tambourine if you wanted to, to, to start a band or something but it looks like a big overgrown version of the red rangers ninja star sort of and i i dig that it's neat 
it looks kind of cool. And if you kind of hold it by here, it feels like a weapon. And that's kind of neat. I dig that quite a bit. I mean, from the underside, it's a giant gun. It's uh, basically a floating saucer gun. But I don't know. It's cool. I like I like the Ninja Star mode. It's neat. And uh, to transform it, you kind of go like that. And it will just kind of flip itself over, I guess. But you unfold those. I'm going to do that again because that was just a really crappy demonstration of the unfoldability of this toy. So there we go. You start like that and just have it automatically work. You could do that, I guess. I would just stay together. There we go. So you can take it and go like that and it will all fling up. And then this part will get in the way of going all the way down. And that part gets flung down this way. And you're back to a cannon, basically. I mean, it is what it is. So you can take the cannon off. And that part will get used for the Megazord. And with a Zord Builder port right there, you can actually stick this in other places. That is pretty neat. And that was a weird sentence. I apologize for that. By other places, I meant you could stick it onto the legs just like that or you could stick it up on the shoulder maybe just like that which admittedly looks cooler than anything else you could do with this toy on the megazord i like that a lot i'm a fan of shoulder mounted cannons so this is really cool uh, in my opinion but what they want you to do with it is to take the red robozord out of this thing just like that. Keep his little head in. I want you to take... Okay. I see how it is. Dump truck zord. I wouldn't want to get rid of the cool short, short, shorter, shorter cannon, shoulder cannon either. I can English. It's late. I'm tired. But I want you to take the cannon and line up the pegs and the... You gotta move these out of the way. I guess. How do you get this in there? Do you have to put it upside down? I oh, have to put it upside down. I guess that makes sense. And like that, I would kind of put that up to brace it, I suppose. But yeah, that's what they want you to do with it. Because, you know, that's really freaking cool. It, they're just really trying to be the legendary Megazord, to be honest. But down here, and we focus down here, they want you to take the red Robozord and he can stand here. He can stand there like a champ. And then you take the sword and there's a little plug socket. You stick it right there, and I don't know what this is supposed to be like some sort of weird chariot or something. I'm not, I don't know exactly, but it's in the instructions, I guess. So, yeah, but wait, there's more. You can take this part and it'll lift up, and it's a little handle, and the little handle can go. I don't even know anymore, to be honest. Uh, like like that like i guess i yeah like that yeah we nailed it and i can hold the cannon and it can be all oh big cannon thingy fire and stuff so yeah you can do that too so in all my excitement i actually forgot that this thing actually does launch a missile you press the button right here and it goes and launches a missile yeah uh, apparently it also bends missiles in there too, so that's a thing. Uh, so yeah, I forgot that it actually has missile functioning, m missile firing functionality, and there goes the missile right there. So yeah, it fires a missile. Hooray, cool. Woo. So that's about it for this thing, and honestly, I'm just kind of on the fence. It's fun, but it's a very limited kind of fun. I like the concept of a Megamorph Shuriken turning into a cannon. And I think they executed it fairly well with this toy, other than the two parts of the cannon not being able to connect well and kind of generating a big floppy mess. And it's weird because it looks like it was supposed to connect and it just doesn't anymore because of those clips to attach to the Megazord. So it's like they added functionality and thus removed functionality instead. And I think what they removed is what they needed to keep in order to make this a much more solid toy. Uh, so I'm interested to in seeing if they make any more battle stations or bigger sized Megamorph things later on down the line. I think it could be kind of neat because like I said, I like the cannon. I like the Ninja Star mode. 
I just, there's things missing that would make this an overall really, really good toy. And so instead, it's just kind of an okay toy. I think kids that can look past the cannon pieces being big floppy messes uh, will probably like this a lot. It does have functionality with the Megazord and does have functionality with the figures uh, because of the little handles and stuff like. So it's cool in that regard. I think kids will really like it. Collectors probably a little bit more on the fence like I am. But at the end of the day, it is fun. There's just some tiny little things in there that stop me from fully recommending it. But if you think it's cool, definitely pick it up. Uh, like I said, there is fun things about it for sure. I really like the Ninja Star mode. Just the big Ninja Star is just really cool. But that is that. And that about does it for this review. Please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss a cool video like this one. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care and have a great one. Bye.